Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. And just for a change, I thought I'd uh, come back down to Southbourne. Something different. Getting fed up with the sole, so uh, let's break it up a bit. And as I say, the cod are just around the corner. Chesil's uh, producing quite a few cod at the moment, so you never know. It may be a good season. But we'll soon find out by the end of September into October. If there's one or two being caught, then you never know. But back to Southbourne. So yeah, come back down. I've come further along because it is quite uh, busy where I fished last time. So I've just come back further, more under the cliff sort of thing. Beautiful evening, very overcast onshore breeze blowing uh, probably about probably about a three maybe occasionally a four usual tactics I've got a couple of uh, clip down two and three hook paternoster but all clip down to give me that extra bit of distance so that will uh, I reckon that might help and then as it just goes in the dark, I'll uh, get either a bomber or a long flowing trace, clip down, rig on the, uh, with some fish bait on. So, but to start with, I'm just gonna use some worm. I think uh, things have been fishing reasonably well, so uh, gotta be done. Let's give it a go, see what happens. So the only change I've done rod wise, well, not rods, the rods are the same. But I'm thinking where I'm fishing clearer, cleaner beaches, I took the pens off, the mags, and I've just stuck me a couple of Abu 6.5 TSRs. That should improve a little bit of distance, and uh, as I say, it's, it's clean bottom, there's no point in too fast a ratio with these 5 to 1, but um, I can't see the point in the mags down here, so I'll just change that, that's the only difference. As I say, I've got rag, squid, mackerel, um, fish baits for the, hopefully, a, maybe a ray or something later when it gets a bit a bit darker, but certainly the worms are probably producing flatty, so it's been fishing reasonably well in the last few weeks, so fingers crossed we'll uh, pull one or two out, but I'm just going to uh, get baited up and get out there, so uh, I should keep you all informed. Bring it on. Southbourne, dare I say part two, who knows, come on fish. Well welcome back, just going to do the first cast and uh, see what happens. I've seen a couple of little nibbles, but that's all it's about. This doesn't feel good. It feels a bit light. But we'll see. Beautiful evening. I'd say these reels are just perfect down here. Smooth bottom, it's not a rough bottom. place of the evening. The weed on the leader not there. There we go. First place. <laughs> Tiny. Took a size one. Happy days. Right, let's get it back out there. Bring it on. Oh, 
Right, try number two. <clears throat> See what's happening with this one. So, place on the first truck. That's good. anyway the older six and a half TSRs are so smooth. No, this doesn't feel like anything, but then I've got to remember I haven't got a fast retreat, so nah, nothing. No, not that fast. Right, let's get her in, get her back out there. Uh, let's see what happens on the second truck of the night so I'm sort of like doing 20 minutes nearly half hour <clears throat> on the bait checks purely because obviously uh, after that first cast that was a 20 minutes so I'm leaving it a little bit longer to soak Well, that was a bonus, the old air display, so happy days. This doesn't feel promising. Feels a bit light. Hoping the fish will play ball after dark, but we'll see. Yeah, nothing there. Tiny bit of weed, nothing to worry about. Right. In fact, the bait's not even touched on that. Well, not hardly. That's not a good sign, but we'll see. Perseverance. Get it back out there. Right, second rod. Let's see what's happening. <clears throat> so the tide's running out now, so it's a run off the ebb. So now that one may be a bit of weight on that then. Plenty of weed. That horrible stringy stuff, but let's, uh, <clears throat> let's see what happens. Admit that did feel like I did strike into something then, but you see, and I think there is something there. Is there? Come on. It looks like it's going up tide a bit, so there might be a bass. Here we go. Oh. Weed round that leader knot with fish on right come on what we got place ah gurnard lovely No. 
nice, nice little gurnard. Right, just getting in the, in the dusk now. Let's hope uh, we're going to pay ball. But I've certainly seen quite a few bites on the rod, so hopefully uh, something's there. What's happening? Doesn't feel like a lot. I mean, I've never actually fished as far down as this, so who's to say I'm not fishing in a good spot? The times I have fished have been further up towards where the main car parks are. So I could be fishing on a sandbank, who knows? Or they're just not here today. But Gurner done place so far, so this is the third cast. Let's uh, see what's happening here. A bit of weed, I think. I don't think there's anything here. It doesn't feel like anything. Oh, yes, there is. Yeah, there we go. Got another place. I'll take that back. Get you around. There we go, another place. That's number two. Beautiful little things. Let's try and look in here and uh, get him back. Come on. Right, I'm going to unhook him and get him back. Go and get me to score you. Happy days. Nice. Right, so uh, I'm about to uh, change over rigs now to an up and over. So this will give me a good metre flowing trace when it hits the bottom. And this is uh, loaded with a nice squid. Squid and mackerel wrap. Impact shield. Up to a breakaway plunger. I don't even know if they still make these anymore, but I've used them for years. Works really well. I'd say that should give me a nice meter trace then. That'll be hard to the bottom. I've been using these uh, rigs for yonks. They certainly don't let me down. Right, so that's ready to go out. So let's put you back on the head. Right, there we go, right, let's uh, do this one. I think this has got a bit of weed on because it does seem to be pulled quite far down to the right. Unless there's a fish as well, who knows. The tide's certainly running out now. Got a fair way to walk to the tide. To the sea, right. Yeah, a bit of weed there. I would say, oh, tons of wow, I see what's happened. Got that stringy stuff. Must have just blown back up on the... No, I can't even get that off. Mind you, if I suppose if I come here... Yeah, just excuse me, let's... Let's get this off now. Guys, oh, it's well and truly knotted. So that weed will die off in a bit once that tie gets to gets to dead low. Right, so let's uh, probably still got more on there, but that's the stuff that the wind was blowing me up. Uh, my little bit of weight there, unless there's a bit more weed. Let's 
see. It'd be nice to get the fish bait out though. I can leave that for a little bit longer soaking then. Probably 100% do half hour plus checks. Uh, there's either weed or I've got something on here. Let's have a look. Yeah, these reels are certainly uh, handling this little bit of uh, wind that's coming in. Yes, we have. We've got some in there. What we got? Oh, another species, got a little bass. I would say he's been on there some time. He's a bit limp. There we go, another bass. Or oh, a bass, sorry, the first one. Not another bass. So two plates of bass and a gurnard. Happy days. Right, let's get this uh, let's get this fish bait out. Right, let's see what's happening. <coughs> that wind's uh, <coughs> got a little bit more up, so the tide's certainly well dropped. Let's, uh, let's see what's happening. There's a little bit of weight on there, but... See, now that feels heavier from the off. So, fingers crossed. <coughs> a few more waves breaking out a little bit further now, so it's obviously getting shallower out there. But as I say, I've never fished down this far, so... You know, I could be fishing in a bum spot. But then I have seen people fish down here. The times I have fished down here, they've been down here. As far as what I am, so... But it's, uh, oh yeah, something there. Something just broke the surface, so that's good. What we got? A uh, scared mackerel. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe I should have brought some feathers. I think he's been on there a little while. Let's just tilt you down a bit. Because if you have a look, and the old rigor mortis is set in, so he's been on there a little while. The old scared. Oh, that's another species. And the bait's uh, slowly gone as well, so that's no good to me. I've already got a rig uh, all baited up, so that's off the other one. So that's the two at one, this is the three. So uh, and then I'll have a check of the fish bait, which I should imagine not really doing it much at the moment, but, but you never know. Right, that's the beauty when you've got two rigs, so off with one, on with a second. It's like double patting, if you're in a comp, you certainly wouldn't be pissing around like I'm doing it. But yeah, two, two rigs on the go. So in a minute I'll bake that one back up, and uh, so it's ready for when this one comes in. God, that's quite blowy now. Good for blowing, which obviously doesn't help I'm trying to get it some distance, but I'm not a bad caster. Right, bring it on, let's get back out there. So this is the fish bait rod. A little bit of weight there, but I don't think it is. Struck, it was heavy, so you never know. Yeah, it's quite surfy out there now. Oh, I don't know that. That might have been a pull then, and again. That would be nice if it is coming on the old bait. And to be fair, 
there it's running up tight so I think I have got right, actually yeah there's something there is there yes what have we got yeah something in the surf there oh. well 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 <laughs> bloody codling oh well off the mark southboard there we go codling happy days not too excited obviously but uh, <laughs> just, oh, I'm well pleased with that oh, I can't believe that I was thinking to we're going to Chesil but uh, there you go can you believe it Codlin and all on the GoPro and it's all filmed I'm going to take the GoPro off so we can get a well, that light's a bit bright isn't it it's not really doing it justice right let's get some photos of it then happy days bring it on well what a turn up for the books little codling probably pound and three quarters might go two pound i don't think it'll even go two pound i'm being generous there On the South Bourne Beach, I think it's about half nine, quarter to ten. That was the first try on the old uh, fish bait. That was on squid and mackerel wrap, up and over rig, 3-0 and a 1-0 panel. Beautiful. <coughs> I'm certainly chuffed with that. Hopefully it came out quite good on the video winding in etc but <laughs> how good is that I've got my lights too bright and I unbelievable what a what a bonus that's better there he is bring it on let's get it back out there <laughs> well chuffed happy days stay tuned Well, to say I'm a bit chuffed is an understatement. And I've just had a cracking slack line bite on that left hand rod, so uh, that's the 25 minute bait check just coming up. So right, let's uh, let's see what's occurring with that. <coughs> that was a good old bite. Possibly a bass, I suppose, hitting it hard or a smart. Not sure. Yeah, still can't get over that. I'm pleased, very pleased. <coughs> nice little codling earlier. Right. Get down to the water's edge here and uh, see what's happening. Mm, that didn't feel that particularly uh, promising, but. I don't think there's anything in. And then on the other rod I'll get the fish weight back out. Anything here? Didn't feel like it when I struck into that. Weeds has eased off now, so there is something there. It's very, very small. No, I don't think there is. There's the leader. No. No, nothing on there. So I'm just going to quickly bait this up, get this one out, check the other one and uh, get that fish bait on. Bring it on. Right, so 
I'll just uh, recast that one. It doesn't take too long. Oh, that's quite blowy now. Right. Once again, always set your drag. You never know. They're quite good clickers on these uh, TSRs. That's the other good thing about these TSRs, where they're so, where they've got the QTC frames, they're such a low profile to the, to the rod, you can really grip them nicely. Right there. probably hear that on the sound probably ain't gonna sound that great but, uh, let's keep it going ah, that didn't feel that didn't feel promising still doesn't to be fair
pay that time. So I'm alternating the uh, rigs, so now it's uh, time for the free up clip down. But to be fair, I don't think I'll probably stay much longer. It's not exactly fast and furious tonight. distance even in this wind you want to keep the rod tip up high when you're walking it back to the tripod especially when there is bits of weed in the water the last thing you want to do is uh, drag your line into the that little bit of surf there and the next minute you're picking up weed or you've even got half a chance of keeping it out there nicely and when it is blowing like this it is nice to have a nice bit of uh, tension in your line in the tips and everything just to make sure uh, you're not in that surf about that wind but it is what it is yeah these rods are nice perfect for clean ground fishing the old zip flex m4 high flex m's nice rods and as i say i'm really pleased i brought the uh tsr back from the island instead of the pen mags you don't need nothing as big as the more as powerful as the mags as in like the ratios and that TSRs, any abus to be fair on clean ground would be perfect. So no, I might make that the last cast. I'm almost out of worm anyway. Give that another good soak for half hour. happens I think a few more people have gone now which seems a little bit quieter down there not quite so many lights well let's uh, let's see what's going to happen mm, uh, that doesn't feel promising <laughs> Out the leader. 
know. I mean, Bates getting a little bit hammered, but whatever it is, it's not really looking at themselves. Yeah, I've had the codling, yeah. I appreciate that. But wants to see a fish. Certainly hasn't been out in front of me. That's why I could be fishing a little bit more shallower water. Don't know, just uh, the fish really haven't been in front of me. Get that sludgy bit of weed off. Don't fancy winding that stand on the line, so that'll rot it. Nah, look at that. That's just done of this. Get this out of the way. So I don't want to get the sand in the rigs. All those springs and everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed it tonight. Hasn't exactly been fast and furious. But what a bonus fish, a nice codling. Just shy two pound I expect. Really pleased about that. So what, what's the scores on the doors tonight then? So we've had two place, two bass, one scad mackerel. Hold on to Codlin. I think that's it. Oh, and the uh, Gurnard as well. As I say, not past the curious, but that bogus fish certainly made up for anything uh, I was expecting. Doesn't change. Uh, just, I just didn't fancy the boat, the salt fishing side of it. Fancy something different. So here we go. Southbourne it was, but I uh, hope you've liked it. And thank you for your support again. And uh, if you can hit the like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Keep the channel going. And as I say, I appreciate all your support. Until next time. Dobbo's Fishing Adventures.